Now, if you've gone through all of those tests and you think, oh, actually my joints are pretty hypermobile, I've got this stretchy skin, what does that mean for my flexibility training? This is a really interesting question. A lot of people are told that if they're hypermobile, they shouldn't stretch. And a lot of dancers freak out at that because they've always stretched, they feel like they need it, their muscles feel tight. So they want to know how to balance this information. Now, there's a couple of different ways of looking at this. The reason why people will tell you not to stretch is that we don't want to stretch out any already unstable joints. If your ligaments aren't very good at holding your joints together, we don't want to overstretch them more. So you definitely don't want to do any stretching practices where you're hanging out in one position for a long period of time any kind of sustained yogic positions where you're sinking into things rather than supporting yourself, anything where you feel pressure or pain or like something wants to pop in your joint, any of that compression pain. So we definitely don't want to feel any of those ever. However, what you'll often find if you're hypermobile but not very stable is that because the joint isn't stable, the big muscles try to help out you'll tend to get tight in your quads, in your big bum muscles, in your big back muscles, in your neck, because your bigger movement muscles are trying to sub for your deeper stability muscles, which aren't really pulling their weight. Now, in people who have stiff ligaments, they don't need to think about it too much. Their ligaments hold them together and they can usually train and build up strength quite quickly. When you're hypermobile, we need to be way more intelligent and careful about how we do it. We need to be much more acutely aware of really training our deepest layers to support the joints, kind of like dynamic ligaments. This will then, then offload the pressure in all our big muscles. Now this does take some time to master, but there are a few tricks that I like to use to be able to help hypermobile people train their mobility and stability really safely. I like using dynamic tape. I find that it gives you a really uh, increased proprioception. It helps you actually feel what your limbs are doing. When you're very mobile, sometimes they don't give you much feedback. And the tape really helps just give a little bit of awareness of where things are in place. The other thing we're going to explore later is eccentric training. And this is something that has helped me enormously of actually doing loaded eccentric training, which is where the muscle is getting longer as it's working. Concentric is when it's contracting and getting shorter. Eccentric is if you've got a weight in your hand, your bicep is still working, but it's getting longer. And I find that this is absolutely fantastic when training in hypermobility, because we're training long, strong, stable muscles on a stable joint base, which is exactly what we want. So if you are hypermobile, just steer away from aggressive cupping, aggressive stretching, and instead try to use the, the knowledge of any tight big muscle as the canary in the coal mine, I like to say. It's a sign that something else isn't doing its job. We may do some very gentle massage, some gentle cupping, just to offset it a tiny bit, but the main focus needs to be on stabilizing the underneath joints so that long term we're not feeling like we need to have those big muscles dealt with all the time.